Okay, so the first uh, jar that we're gonna make for today is a no need bread mix in a jar, um, which is great because you can just give this to somebody and they can then make an entire loaf of bread or turn it into buns um, to go with their meal for the day. So first thing you need is one of the one liter or quart jars and you're gonna need, you can use a funnel, you don't have to use a funnel, but it makes it a lot easier if you do. And so the first thing we're gonna do is three and a half cups of bread flour. Um, so I'm just using a half cup measure, okay, just because it fits a little bit nicer. So we'll do half, and I always count by halves, so it makes it easier for me. And then one, and then half, and two. shake it down every now and then to make sure it goes in and three so three and a half and the last little bits yeah you will have to shake it down if you're using a spoon okay that also kind of works to get it in it'll just be a little bit messier and then we're gonna take two teaspoons of, this is the quick rising yeast, and you wanna make sure that it is the quick rising run and not the active dry yeast, because the active dry yeast you need to add water to first before you mix it. Um, using the quick stuff means that you can just put it right into the jar. So we're gonna put two teaspoons of this in the top. One, two. And then the last thing actually is salt, and it's two teaspoons of salt as well. Same thing, just in the top of the jar is fine. You could mix all of this in a bowl beforehand and then stir it all up and then put it in the jar afterwards if you want it all mixed. Um, otherwise, just having it like that is fine. And then simple, just put the lid right on top and that's all it is. So when you give this to somebody, you're gonna have a little tag that goes with it um, with the instructions on how to make it. You can make them really pretty. You can make it just really simple. I just did a really simple printed one on a piece of paper. Um, and we're gonna be wrapping this actually in a tea towel. So rather than attaching it with a string or anything like that, I save all of my elastic bands off of everything that I get. I have a huge drawer of them. Kids love to fling them across the room, but that's okay. But we're gonna use these actually to attach onto the jar. So I'll do it so you guys can see. So we're just gonna hold it on the top, put the elastics on. And same thing, you're gonna to wanna to try and line it up so that it's fairly straight. You don't wanna have any twists or bends in it just to make it look a little bit nicer. And you can adjust it as we go. And then same thing, I like to put a second one on just because that way it holds it straight there. Good, and then that just holds it in place, but it means that at the end of the day, when they're done and you're giving it to somebody, then they get two elastics to add to their collection, um, but you're not using anything that has to be thrown away from there. 